Hello, it's Zoe here, and today I am gonna be sharing with you what resistance bands do that weights just cannot do. I know a lot of people wonder what is the benefit of using a resistance band, and I am gonna share that with you today. And the three big differences between using a weight or free weights or cable and using a resistance band like this one. So let's go ahead and get into it. First things first, we need to know that resistance bands use what's called linear variable resistance. This, in to put it simply, just means that the more we stretch the band, the harder it gets. So at the peak moment, when we are contracting the muscle, we've stretched the band the furthest apart, that is when there is the most tension, and that's when we activate the most muscle fibers, which is great because that's when we want to be activating those fibers at the end of the range of motion, right? So that is what a resistance band use, and that's why you get that burning <laughs> feeling. Um, if you've ever done any of my workouts with the resistance bands, you will feel that little bit of a burn that you get um, when you're really working in that end range of motion and getting that squeeze and contraction. This means that our muscles get stronger, we build shape and curves, which is muscle, and we start to see that little bit of a definition that can come from using resistance bands. So that is number one, linear variable resistance. Number two is, let me put, pick this weight back up, you cannot use momentum. So if I wanted to get this weight up really easy, I could swing my body around, right? Well, if I wanted to do that with a resistance band, I can't like cheat my way out of this, right? I need to activate, squeeze the bicep to pull and stretch the fabric. So there's no cheating when I'm doing <laughs> a resistance band workout because if I swing my body around, it's not getting the band to stretch and move. We have to do it in a controlled way. So there is no cheating when it comes to bands, which is what I absolutely love. It also builds in that little safety net because you're not prone to cheating and doing movements like that that are really hard on the body um, that can come when you're just trying to move a weight or move an option, right? Or move an object, pardon me. So instead of moving an object, we're stretching a band apart. And we're stretching the fabric. That's what, what creates that linear variable resistance. And that is what creates that peak contraction, right? Now, the third and final thing is that that peak contraction comes at the top of the range when the stretch is the highest, which is exactly what we would want. We want that stretch and that pull and that squeeze as we stretch the band and we get the muscle fibers engaged. So, what I also love about the band, of course, is that it is low impact, completely portable, and you don't have to go to a gym to use it. I do have a full 15 minute follow along from home routine at the link around this video, so make sure you check that out, because of course, just having a resistance band and not knowing what to do with it isn't gonna make any difference at all. We need a smart approach using the resistance bands so that you can learn the exercises, how to do them safely and properly, um, and of course, do them right from home or wherever you are, which is absolutely amazing. So that is why I choose resistance bands over weights. I like the way that it feels, it's safe, it's great for my body, it's especially great for us women who aren't looking to use weights like this. These are my husband's weights. I don't even touch these. Um, all I need is my yoga mat and I am good to go. So we don't need to invest in expensive weights. We don't need to go to a gym. We don't need to be lifting things that um, are maybe uncomfortable or maybe you just don't like that style. And if you do love lifting weights, all the power to you. I'm definitely not saying you shouldn't. However, for a lot of us, 
Using a resistance band like this in a smart way from home can help us to get amazing results, superior results to what we would doing traditional weightlifting without having the strain, pain, soreness, and muscle breakdown, strain on the joints that can so often come with the lifting heavy weights, which is exactly why I put together that 15 minute routine that you can do right from home and there may be a little something special over there for you as well. So make sure you head on over and check it out. Let me know if you have any questions about resistance bands. Um, some of my favorite exercises with the resistance band. Um, this is Archer. This is an exercise that I developed. We usually do it in a warrior two shape. And what I love about it is it really targets the area right where your bra strap sits and your shoulder. So you're getting that activation and that squeeze all around that area that so many of us women love to work. Of course, this is great for working the booty as well. Probably one of my favorite ways to work the booty is using my resistance band around my knees. Um, and of course, I can walk you through all of that on the next page. And also we do use the resistance band for some core work as well, which I know I can't really model the core work right now, of course, being almost eight months pregnant now. Um, my core work is looking pretty different, but I have still been rocking my bands and it's been helping me to feel strong and toned um, in all the areas that I can be strong and toned right now. So yeah, I hope you found this video helpful and I can't wait to walk you through your first workout on the next page. Big hugs, lots of love. Bye-bye.